In this video, we are going to use Nginx reverse proxy as an example to understand the basic features of Docker Compose. Are you ready? Let's go! Docker Compose helps create and manage a group of containers in a declarative way. So let's see how we do it. First, let's make a directory. Call it my app. Okay, so first we need to define the Docker Compose config configuration file. By default, Docker Compose recognizes the name docker-compose. So let's create that configuration file. So vi docker compose.yml. First thing in this file we define is the version. Version. We use version 3. It is important to uh, uh, to note which version you are using. Um, uh, Docker has diff a list slightly different syntax for each version. The next thing we define is the networks. Networks colon, and then here in this Docker Compose file, we only have one network called my network colon. So what is a network in Docker Compose? Um, you can define man, uh, you can define a set of containers and services, right? Uh, they are running in the same uh, network. So inside the network, containers can communicate in, uh, with each other as if it is in a subnet. And how they identify each other is by the service name. So next thing we define will be the service name for each container. So here, let's define the services. The first service we're going to define is my app one. And we're going to give it a container name, which is also my app one. And then the image. In this case, it is King Twelve Ho, my app, and then we we are going to expose the port for this image. We are just going to export uh, expose port eighty, and this service resides in the network called my network okay this is our first service so let's create one more let's paste it let's copy and paste for this service let's call it my app 2 Since we have already used port 80, we need to define another port number. Let's do the 10080. So that's it. That's it. So in this Docker Compose file, we define two services. Let's try it. So how do we run the Docker Compose network? We just type docker hyphen compose up. And then we want to run it as a daemon, so minus d. So it is now creating two services. Okay, let's check docker ps. So here we, we can see that there are two containers running. So let's try it out. So in, for this port 80, it's working. Okay, let's go back. Since I do, uh, do not, I did not uh, configure the firewall to expose port 10080, we're not going to try it. 
but I'm pretty sure it's working. So now, once we've done, we can uh, we can tear down the network. So we type Docker compose down. So it is tearing down the network, and this is how you how this is how you bring up and tear down the Docker Compose network, and that is it. You may say, now I know how to create containers and services in the Docker Compose network. That's great, but I still don't know how they communicate with each other. And also, is there any other features that Docker Compose can provide? Okay, don't worry. In this video, I'm going to show you other tricks for Docker Compose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a reverse proxy based on Nginx and communicate with our application. So here we go. First, for Nginx, we need to define the configuration file. So let's call it nginx.conf. And in this configuration file, we're going to define a server that is listening to port 80. And then for any request coming in, we are going to pass it. To a location called HTTP my app that's it simple enough right and next we're going to, to create an image so let's create a docker file vi docker file so we're going to use the nginx image so from nginx and then i want to delete the default configuration file in it so run rm etc nginx conf dot d everything and then we're going to copy our configuration file in it. nginx.conf etc nginxconf.d. Okay, that's it. Let's build our image. So docker build minus t. Let's call it my proxy. And the location is here. Okay, successful. Let's check it. Docker images. So here is our newly created image, my proxy. And next, we going to create a Docker network. So first, let's make sure that uh, nothing is running. Docker PS minus A. Okay, good. And remember, uh, in, uh, uh, in, uh, in the earlier of this session, I, uh, I, I mentioned that by default, the configuration file name is docker-compose.yamu, but you don't need to use that name. You can use, indeed, you can use any name. So let's create another file called file2.yamu. And if you remember, we first need to define the version, version 3. And this time, uh, I'm not going to create a, a network, and it is going to use a default network. If you don't give it any network. So we're just going to use the default network Docker Compose providers. So we just simply define the services.
and this time I'm going to call it my app an image king puff hole my app and if you notice I'm not going to uh, give it a container name because uh, later on we're going to use this image to scale up and down and if you give it a container name the name will collide if you do not provide it when you scale up this image it is going to the Docker Compose is going to give it the name. So let's just leave it like this. So let's continue. Okay, so we have my uh, proxy. And then for this service, we can give it a container name. Container name my proxy and the image name is indeed the same my proxy and port is eighty. So this is it. Since we define the name of this service, my app, in the, con in the Docker network, it's going to find this service using the service name, if you remember, and it is my app. So when we create the proxy, it is going to pass all the requests to this, to this image, my app. So that's it. Let's try it. So docker compose. This time we need to define the file name. So minus f file two dot yaml up minus d. Oh, I have a I've created a typo here. Let's check it out. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Oh, here we go. We have a typo here. Container. Contain the name. Okay, so let's try it again. So now it's creating the proxy and it's routing all the requests to my app. So let's try it out. So it's working now. If I shut it down, Docker Compose minus F file two YAMU down now it's tearing down my network. Okay, let's try it again. So it's so so the proxy is gone and my app is gone. Next, let's say we have created a very successful website and there are a lot of views. And now uh, just one app is not enough to serve the requests. We want to ex we want to create extra uh, extra uh, container to serve the request. How do we do it? In Docker Compose, they create this feature called uh, scaling. So what we do is Docker Compose minus F file two YAML up minus D and then dash dash scale. 
and then provide the service name. In this case, it's my app, and we want two copies of it. Let's see what will happen. So here you go. You see that uh, Docker Compose is creating two images of my app, and by my proxy now becomes a load balancer, and it's going to serve the request to these two images. Okay, so now it started. So if we check it out, Docker PS minus A. We have two my app images running, uh, two my app containers, and they are given the name my app my app underscore one, and my app my app underscore two. So now, if we go to the website and check it out, here we go. So that's it for this session. I hope you like it. If you like it, please uh, leave the comment below and uh, uh, press like and share it to your friends. And thank you, and I will see you next time.